Hi Virgo, welcome to your activation. Okay Virgo, I just want to say that we're going to do this activation at the end of this video, so please stick around for that. And um, I am releasing um, different videos every day. It could be the same activation, might be different. But if there's another one that calls you, calls to your soul, please go and do that as well. Okay, um, because that might be also something that you need. If the messages throughout the video don't necessarily connect with you, that's okay. Please still do the activation because it has popped up for a reason. Okay, there you go. So let's get started. We're using the work your light oracle cards here and then i've pulled out the activation cards to use specifically for this okay so sacred spirit reading cards is what we'll be using to look at why you need this and the light seers tarot is what we'll be using to clarify let's get going okay there we go align your universe navigate distractions I've got I've got the um I've got the activation written on my computer because the writing's so small so I just have to keep the computer like you know from closing down while I'm sitting here talking so yeah so just bear with me while I do that throughout okay align your universe navigate distractions <sighs> okay there you go so I feel as though for you you there's something going on actually. There's something going on that you are trying to avoid looking at. Navigate distraction. See, um, it's kind of like not allowing distractions to distract you from looking at what it is you need to look at. Because I notice this person here has their eyes closed. It's like they're trying to be like, no, go away. Um, yet this person here is looking at things head on. And, um, and I feel as though there's something that you actually need to address and look at head on. Okay. Um, yeah, see, this Knight of Wands here, look at her. She's like, her, her drum's on fire, but she's so busy here. Like, yeah, we're having this great time. And she's not even realizing that the drum's on fire. Okay. Um, this also feels like, for some of you, that there's something that you're overdoing. Okay, um, so just be mindful of that. It's sort of like, especially with this being wands, it's sort of like there's something that ignites your soul on fire. And, and I would say that it could be a matter of needing to pace yourself in a sense. Okay, we also have the seven, seven of cups. So it's sort of like... You know, this also here, like it's like snakes and ladders, right? And it's like you have to roll the dice and hope that you get a ladder to progress. And sometimes you land on a snake, which causes you to degress. And I feel like there's something going on in your life that you are kind of like taking a gamble with in a sense. But also I do notice that this person looks um, like they're a bit worn and potentially you've been through bit of a battle to get to where you are right now um, and maybe these distractions keep you from looking at that or addressing that we now have meditation improvements require persistence yep so I want to say for you Virgo to make sure that you are, are mm, taking the time to meditate okay because this may very well help address some of the things that you are distracting yourself from okay and I know that it might be very appealing to then not meditate. Um, but it might just help to calm the waters in a sense for you. Tell me more about meditation. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, no, that's far too many telling me too much about meditation for Virgo. Tell me more of two cards for meditation for Virgo, please. Um, there's also, for some of you, there could be a, a decision that you need to make here and you can't decide... Um, and what I want to say about this is use the meditation to go from your head into your heart, okay, to really feel it out, Virgo, because I feel like that's going to help you make the best decision for yourself and for your path, your mission that you're on this earth for, okay? So two cards for meditation for Virgo. That's one. Ten of cups. Wow. Ten of cups. Okay, so this 
especially with the Knight of Wands there. It, this is definitely, you're not sure what to choose. It's like you know that one of these cups leads to the 10 and you're just not sure which one, but you're spending so long trying to decide. And I re actually want to say it's clear. It's like the answer is clear. Um, and you know, deep down in your soul, you know, but your mind's kind of got in the way here. So go into this meditative state to help you to get to that, because I feel like deep down you do know, but it might just not be the easiest road. Okay. Um, and it might be that in order to get to the Ten of Cups, there's healing that needs to be done. Five of Swords, it's hurting your head. You're in your head about it. But this, see, this is this battle again. This is this battle. <sighs> see, there's this person here in the background who I've never noticed before, who is standing there in this, this position of victory. And you, it's like, but I feel like this is your energy, like you're the one who's been hurt. And you're worn, man. Um, it's, it's just this feeling of you're tired of battling. In a sense, you're tired of fighting the good fight. Um, yeah. And no, you don't want to go into your heart. That's the whole thing, Virgo. You actually, some of you don't want to go into your heart because when you went into your heart last time, that's what happens. You know, you got hurt. You went into your heart and let your passion be ignited and it burned everything. Yeah. Uh, it, it, you know, this could doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be in any area of your life as well. Energy signature. The past is in the present. The past is in the present, Virgo, to be healed. Some of you, it seems like some of you are unable to escape your past and it keeps coming up and you're absolutely fed up with it. You've literally had enough. You're like, I just want to get to the Ten of Cups already. It's like, you know, you're here trying to decide which cup to turn over to get you to the Ten so that you can get there. And then this comes up again. And it's like, oh, for goodness sakes, are you here again already? What do you want? You know, mamma mia. <laughs> um, yeah, but the past is in the present to be healed. Okay. I can't but see I wouldn't normally take these but <laughs> I'm being told to and look look at this here what is this the four of swords taking this time to rest to heal taking time out to heal right this person has you know gone into the nest for protection to be nurtured to be loved what happens in a nest when eggs are in a nest they're there the parents are looking after them the parents are keeping them warm the parents are keeping them safe you know, and then the, the eggs hatch and the parents go out and get the food. It's like, it's like you need that nurturing. And I feel like you need to give this nurturing to yourself. And even, you know, accept other people coming in to do the nurturing for you. Because some of you, Virgo, will not. You won't even open up your heart enough in order to allow anybody in to come and do that. It's like... It's like the heartache is kind of like keeping the swords. It's like you, it's like, yeah, you're using the swords to protect you in a sense. Yeah, that's what's happening there. Oh man, it's really a hard journey that you've been on. Some of you, like, real hard, you know? And I'm glad. I mean, if you're taking time out to rest to heal, I'm glad about that. Just don't take time out to rest to avoid. There's a big difference there, okay? We've got the King of Cups here. This could be someone around you. This could be someone here offering them their cup. But what I want to say is the King of Cups, he's got his emotions sorted, man. He's not avoiding them. He's sitting in them. He sits in them. He feels them to heal them. And this is what I feel like this message is in this card here for you, Virgo. You need to feel to heal. Okay, and you're definitely trying to distract yourself, some of you, from doing that. Okay, it's like, oh, that hurts, I'll go to sleep, you know. Um, or, that hurts, I'll beat my drum more because, oh, you know, it's, yeah. Um, and, and it could very well be that for some of you, there's a lot, of, a lot of, it's like under these cups, maybe different emotions or different events that have 
have caused you to go through this battle of your life throughout your life, you know? And you're like, oh, which one should I even open? I don't even want to turn over any of them because when you turn it over, it reveals what it is that needs to be healed and you just don't want to... You're like, oh, what's the easiest thing and the quickest thing so I can get to the 10? But you need to actually turn over all of them, okay? Oh, man. And by doing that, that's actually going to help you um, to step out of this continuously being in your face, okay? It's going to stop the past from always coming up and being like, hello, here I am. Are you going to deal with me, right? Astral travel, caution needed. Yeah, see, it's kind of like traveling. It's this escapism in a sense, but it's also traveling to avoid traveling. You're trying to travel away from something that hasn't been dealt with. And, and this is sort of out of fear in a sense of um, it's like, oh, I just really it's like you're afraid of the burn. You're afraid of the burn. But some of you, you know, it could be that you are, there's a new relationship that could be there for you to be had, but you're too afraid of getting burned again. Um, or, you know, a new job or a new business or whatever. Because it's like this person could travel up here to this matrix, right? Um, matrix in a, in a positive way. And... Um, they're trying to connect with it, but they're not actually allowing themselves to raise up. They're wanting to connect with it on their terms, in a sense, but you need to really get into this meditation to make that connection. Okay? And voice. You need to voice. It's like you need to share. You need to accept help. Um, we have the Page of Pentacles here. Okay, I just have to go with what I'm getting here. I feel like some of you are pondering, waiting. It's like, you know how they say time heals? That's what it's like. You're waiting for time to go by, so you're healed without actually doing the work. And that's not necessary. That's going to do, it's going to make things easier somewhat, but it's not going to actually heal what it is that you need to heal. Okay, it's just going to allow you to live with that in your life easier um so because i noticed this person has you know they're in this position where they could learn um about the pentacle but they're kind of like i'll just wait for it to teach me you know i'll wait for it to do the work um rather than learning to do the work in a sense, if that makes sense. I hope that made sense. Um, in a sense, there was a lot of senses in there, wasn't it? Anyway, the star. Look at this connection here, right? This is this connection. Bringing it, bringing it to you. Connecting to it, right? Um, but I really do love this because this is, again, by doing this, this work here, Virgo, you will be able to make this connection and it's going to be, oh, beyond beyond okay so channel your knowledge critical judgment okay critical judgment virgo who are you critically judging yourself by any chance others around you maybe or are other people critic <sighs> that gave me a fright honestly there's been noises going on out there all the time <laughs> Like, I come in here and this thing start up out there. Anyhow, as I was. Are people critically judging you? I want to say that also, Virgo, you need to sit down and write. Write your feelings out. This could be a way to release them. This could help you. Start journaling. If you're afraid of someone finding the journal, there's nothing wrong with actually burning what it is you write, okay? Um, if someone is critically judging you um, and you need to release that, um, you just go into the toilet and write it on a 
toilet paper and flush it down the toilet. I think that's come up for you before, but this could still be a reminder to do that, okay? Sometimes we forget to do these things, okay? But really channeling these emotions out because there are things... See, it's so funny because I keep getting this ship here in the background drawn to me and it looks like a blimmin' thorn. It looks like a thorn. So these emotions that are hanging around that are like thorns that you're just trying to be like, mm, I'm fine, it's not fair, but it actually is. Okay, we've got the page of cups here. Very interesting. <laughs> Look at this. You're like, when pigs fly, I'll do that. <laughs> Uh, this is about you having to learn to express your emotions. Oh, yeah, see? It's kind of like you want to share your heart, but it's, it's for some of you, you're just like, that's never going to happen for me. Never, ever again will I ever do that. I'll do that when pigs fly. But really, deep down inside, it's something you would like to have happen. And you need to do the work in order to have that happen. Okay? Justice. Justice. Hmm. Interesting. There's some sort of um, reflection here that needs to be had. And you might find that once the reflection actually happens, things are going to look a lot different than what you expected. Yeah, things will look a lot different than what you expected. Is that a sword? That's a sword there. I really feel like for you, Virgo, this is um, this is cutting out this critical judgment that you have within that you have going on within, and I feel as though. Maybe this is what this Five of Swords is about, that you just, you know, it's always at you, always at you. And um, and it's been aware that you can take control of that, okay? Kundalini rising, ignite your passion for life. Virgo, to stop avoiding this passionate, this passion within, right? Because it's going to rise up anyway. Ignite your passion for life. What have we got here? Oh, we've got two cards. Oh, we do. Okay. <laughs> we've got the Queen of Swords here. And we've got the Empress. Wow. Water off a duck's back. That's the first thing I get with that. Contemplation. Okay contemplating what's this what's happening up here okay I feel like this is bringing what is up here happening in your mind bringing all your thoughts and dropping them into your heart the transmutation to you know because this is like this this is immersing yourself into the world it's like these changes so deep inside that you become what it is that you uh, embrace sort of thing or that you you become the passion you become it to such a degree that it becomes part of you you know and any emotions that come up to be released are going to be so much easier for you Virgo and they're not going to weigh you down they're going to wash off you and it doesn't mean to say that you won't have to do the work. You will, but it's going to be so much easier than what it once was. And you'll be able to sit in your truth with conviction. Because this won't be weighing you down anymore. You know, you'll be able to balance everything out. You'll be able to open your eyes and look at this part of yourself that you don't want to see. And love it anyway. Yeah, wow. Wow. This is huge. This is a real turnaround. And this is what is there for you. You know, you can have this turnaround. You can have this ten of cups. But it is a matter of doing the work. 
okay and maybe some of you are in the process of doing the work and maybe this activation will help with that okay so let's get to it Virgo I'm so excited I get so excited with these okay I'm just gonna face myself and calm myself down Virgo okay so You ready? I'm ready. Transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing. Wow. Wow, there you go. <laughs> okay. Let me just get this here. Alrighty, so where are we? Transformation, trans, here we go, transformation, there you go. Okay, so I'm going to read what the meaning of the card is, and then we're going to do the actual activation. Okay, there you go. Things are changing at a cellular level. You are not who you were a year ago, or who you will soon be. You are in between, emerging, half risen, half falling. Oh, that's pretty cool, because, sorry, that's like this, right? Half risen, half falling. You're right there. Okay, so, keep doing the work. You are transforming. You will look back at this time with awe. So much is happening in your inner world and within your cells. It's time to release old ways of being that have kept you in fight flight, freeze mode, to choose a new way of being where trauma is not the driving force. Yes. Old childhood patterns are rising up to be healed. As you allow yourself to observe them and free them without attachment, they loosen their grip and fall away. You are being called to find an to find new ways to self-soothe. Saturn and the Black Madonna and the African goddess Ocean, O-S-H-U-N, if anyone wants to look that up, influence this card. Saturn represents destruction and transformations. The Black Madonna represents the underground and all that has been cast aside and Ocean represents the tender love of the original mother beautiful a re-threading is happening see that was like this right this original love this love of the original mother wow and the nest there oh that's so beautiful uh anyhow sorry a re-threading re is happening yes see it's re-threading well anyway sorry Healing at the deepest levels. While you are in this phase, don't put yourself under pressure to perform. You may need to review your relationship with your body, perhaps even shifting your diet or exercise regime, or getting energetic healing support. You may also need to consider some kind of emotional support as issues from your childhood may come up to be healed. You are Deeply loved. Oh, Virgo. That's so nice. And you know, Virgo, it's so true because we need to heal the trauma um, so it doesn't settle into the cells of our body because we do store trauma in our body for any pain that we may have. And so, you know, that can impact us physically. Um, so it is really important to release it so that that doesn't happen for you okay so yeah anyway let's just scroll down here and get the actual activation so normally um you would put this against your heart and say the activation out loud but short of that i'm going to hold it up for you to look at and just place your your 
hand on your heart, your left hand or both hands if you so wish, on your heart, okay? And I'm going to um, say a few words at a time and um, just repeat them after me out loud, okay? Virgo, I allow myself to receive the deepest healing and transformation for change to happen at a cellular level. I allow myself to receive the deepest healing and transformation for change to happen at a cellular level. I allow myself to receive the deepest healing and transformation for change to happen at a cellular level. Beautiful Virgo. That um, was only written once, but I did feel called to repeat it three times for you to really let that activation settle. Okay, Virgo, I encourage you to come back and do this activation every day, if not more than once a day, okay, um, to help with this change, okay, and to help with this release as well. Um, your, I'm so invested in, in your healing and your journey, which is why I'm doing these for free, you know. It, it means so much to me to help as many people as I can on their journey to get through, you know, and, and by doing that, this vibration permeates out to impact other people in a positive way. So this is so important. And, you know, this is why I'm doing these for free. Okay, so in exchange, as an energy exchange Virgo, please share these videos, okay, so that these can help other people because you just don't know who's going to need these. Okay, and please like and subscribe. And if you feel called to, please comment about your experiences through going through these activations. You don't need to share, you know, um, personal details of yourself if you don't wish to. Um, but, you know, it would be really interesting to know how these are assisting you and helping you. Um, and like I said, if there's other activations that call to you, Virgo, go and do them. It doesn't matter about the zodiac sign, okay, because it's what your soul needs, okay, what you need um, to assist you throughout this journey. Okay, Virgo, take care of your beautiful selves and please be gentle with yourself, okay, because you deserve that, okay, and remember, you are deeply loved, Virgo, you are deeply loved, okay. Take care of your beautiful selves, Virgo. See you. Bye-bye.